Hey, what's up, Lightbulb Joe here. Today we are going to discuss the 1940 animated classic Disney film, Pinocchio. This is based off of the book. It's an Italian book, I want to say from 1883. I believe that's what I, what I read. I am more familiar with the Pinocchio character from the Shrek films. I don't like the Disney film, even though I'm very excited for the live action uh, Disney Plus film because Robert Zemeckis wrote and directed it and it stars Hum Hanks as uh, Geppetto. So like, I'm very, I'm very curious. I'm very excited. And uh, a, a lot of the cast I love that is going to be a part of the live action film. So, but like, I don't like the movie Pinocchio from Disney. It's, it's good. It's just boring. Like the middle is just boring. The end is good. Like when they escape the whale and stuff and uh, he turns into a real boy because he showed his true nature. But like, I don't know, it's confusing. Like, why is he a donkey for half the... Why is he part donkey for half the half the film? But, like I said, I'm more used to the Shrek Pinocchio, which is way more entertaining than uh, Disney Pinocchio. But Pinocchio has his own ride, and, like, you know, it's a Disney classic. Like, there, there's a whole Native American cigar redskin scene, which is just does not age well at all. So it's 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 also, like weird watching like you know a guy whip some some donkeys which were boys at some point to like get them into crates to sell them off to the circus it's just not things we see anymore um nor do we advertise nor do we advocate so like it's just animal cruelty is not a thing we we advocate we uh glorify anymore that's the word um racism is not a thing we glorify anymore it's 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 interesting i i i hope a lot of scenes do change in regards to the live action version i hope the live action version is more based on the 1883 book than the actual 1940 cartoon but i have to give credit when credit is due because it was ahead of its time back in the 40s before that we had what 1937 snow white something like that which we actually have to talk about so like for Snow White to be the first feature film that is fully hand-drawn animated feature film ahead of its time, right? Started an era. And so Pinocchio is just another addition in the era. And, like, some camera tricks are, like, really cool for how they filmed it back then. This was, what, 80-something years ago. It was very, very different. It was all new terrain. It was moving pictures, the movers, as we know from the Avatar franchise or the movies, as we know in real life. Like, when... uh. When Jiminy Cricket is bouncing and like the animation bounces with him. It's like it's cool seeing it, the whole panning in and out thing. Very hard to do with the camera tricks. There's there's a if you do like one of the one of the walking Marceline to Magic Tour, whatever it is in, in uh, Disney World, they you go through like one of the uh one of the animated studios in uh Magic Kingdom and they go through like a whole camera tutorial trick and stuff like that. And it's it's neat seeing the history of it. So from a cinema aspect it's it's Pretty cool seeing how it all started and how things are very much so based on it. Music is great. When you wish upon a star, we all know and love. The character of Jiminy Cricket as his conscious, we all know and love. We all love and know and love Figaro. Uh, Cleo the Goldfish. Beautiful characters who don't talk. But then, like, a part of me is confused because you have these human characters and then you have these animals that are just pets. But then you also have, like, uh, Honest John, who's, like, a villain. But he's, like, an anamorphic fox with his henchman whose name i can never remember um but like they're walking and talking upright animals and then you have these boys turned into donkeys and then they can talk but then some are like still in mid-transition it's it's just it's interesting like i get it like why is pluto mickey's dog when mickey is a mouse why does a mouse have a dog kind of a thing but like mickey's a mouse and then pluto's a dog so like animal to animal and yes i understand humans are animals but when you talk about a human having a pet, um, it's just strange having all of these human characters then interact with this walking, talking, anthropomorphic uh, fox and hound creature. I don't know. I just find it odd. I do like the whale scene. I like the blue fairy. I am, I'm, I'm very excited to see the new iteration of the blue fairy. Um, I like, you know, Pinocchio's quest to become a real boy. It's, it's cute. It's like, we, we've seen it a thousand times, but like, I like the Shrek version of I'm a real boy. You know, that, that, that Pinocchio is just so entertaining compared to, because I, I think I like that Pinocchio because he's sarcastic. This Pinocchio is very much a boy. 
that Pinocchio is very much a teenager who's just a sarcastic pain in the butt teenager. I, I like that. I like that Pinocchio. There's other Pinocchios, you know, throughout cinema, and I'm not quite that familiar with many of them. I think Jonathan Taylor Thomas was a Pinocchio at some point back in the 90s. I'd have to refresh that. But Pinocchio is a classic story. You know, the whale is, is a very big thing with the uh, the Storybook ride or whatever the hell it's called at, uh, at Disneyland. Um, very cool having that brought into effect. So Pinocchio w w definitely withstood the test of time. It has, you know, two various rides within Disneyland itself. Um, but I, I, I'm just, I just don't like the film. It bores me. Uh, certain things are okay. Certain things are just boring. It's good for background music. I don't know. I just could never get into Pinocchio when I was a kid. And here I am now at 32 years old and I still can't get into Pinocchio. But I wanted to refresh on the 1940 Pinocchio knowing that Disney Plus Day is coming up and the live action Pinocchio starring Tom Hanks is coming out and I want to see it. So like, I want to get a good refresh. But like, I didn't really like... Lady and the Tramp, we talked about how much I did not like that film. and we I, I didn't really like Dumbo all that much. It was all right, but it wasn't great. I'm very nervous about this live action because some Disney live actions are great, but then others are just like useless, just money grab. So will this be great? I don't know. Will it change my perspective on Pinocchio? I don't know. I hope, but I don't know. So yeah, on to the next review. Much mahalo.